Right, hello, and welcome to the Livy Lab. Because the upstairs is trashed due to moving. Anyway, welcome to what is possibly one of my largest pickup videos ever because, well, we haven't made one for a while and it's been building up. And uh, recent has been a uh, period of unusual amount of pickups due to this, that, and the other. Anywho, first of all, what I really need are minions. Nice cup that my wifey has got me because I like minions. I don't care if you think I'm childish. I like minions, so bugger off. Hmm. We've got some minions on the way, so that'll be a good video. Now, there are a lot of uh, pickups here, I suppose. Uh, hmm. I did get a, a uh, slide projector from work. I haven't brought that down. That's big, but uh, I shall show you that in a different video. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is start from uh, smallest to largest and work our way up to the uh, the big, not inconsequential thing behind me, which I'm not moving over here to do the video. Well, she'll go over there to view it. Anywho, at the start, at the beginning, the beginning of the beginning, we went to pick up the big thing over there, and the gentleman said, well, there's a few things I'm going to be chucking out. Uh, if you want them, help yourself. So, let's put this camera down here. He gave me this. And this. <laughs> oh, the difference. Just noticed. Oh, no, that's great spring missing. Now, yes, two Atari Lynxes, both working apparently, but they each have issues. Neither of them have power slots by the looks of it. They've been taken out for some reason. Uh, this one, which has got the better case and the less scratched screen, uh, has a hole drilled in it for some unknown weird reason. They're probably doing a... Uh, I suspect they were doing a composite mod to attach it to a TV. I do not know. The second one has the same thing, but no hole. But the case is uh, not in as good condition. Uh, yes, the case is not in as good condition as this, but it's got no hole. So, hmm. It's nice to actually finally hold on these. I've never actually held a Lynx 1 before, and they are big. I imagine for a child, this would be, yes, quite entertaining to hold. Uh, but the fate of these, we do not know yet. We're going to, uh, that'll be something for the future to deal with. Okay, working our way up in size when I was at the gentleman's house. Yes, he did have a pile of stuff in the corner, so I decided to, he decided to give me some of it. And the second one is this thing. A Tandy uh, WP2 word processor. Also working, apparently. Uh, does it run on batteries? It does run on batteries. One, two, three, four... How many batteries does this run on? Quite a few, I imagine. So, oh, six volts, so one, two, four. Um, let me see if I've got some batteries for this. Okay, pound land batteries to the rescue. Let's see if this thing works. Well, at present, um, oh, it does. Oh, yes, <laughs> it does. There's a little thing coming up on the screen there. So, uh, layout, cancel. So it does work. Uh, I just don't know what the commands are at the moment. So have a quick look, see if we can get something. Next word, top of page. Okay. EB. Low backup battery, there's a shock. Uh, right, let's have a look. Do, do. How do I get to the upper? Ah, function one. Help. Yes, we know the battery's low. Stop flashing at me. Function one. Help. Function two. Now, nah, maybe some sort of mode thing. <laughs> yeah, blow back up, flashing madly at me. That would be irritating if you're trying to work on this. 
back in the day. So I'll find out more information from this and perhaps do a review on it. Uh, so let's switch this thing off. Get the batteries out later. Got on batteries do work now and again. So not for long. Next thing he gave me, something I've never seen before. Didn't even know these existed. Do -do -do, to reposition. This is not cleaned yet. This is an Aval. Don't know the model number. Uh, an Aval. Okay. Do -do. An Aval Spotlink. The Tele Terminal. It says. What this is? It's not a laptop. It's a serial terminal. A bit like my Ads Regent over there. This accesses things and talks to them via the serial terminal. Uh, I never knew they did a portable version before. This one apparently does work. don't have an adapter for it. It's 17 volts. Uh, ow. With one of them, if anybody knows. 17 volts. With one of them. Don't know what the amps are. I can find out. But... Yes, what's in it? Ow! Nothing because I can't get it off. But anyway, yes, it does need a clean up. Uh, and those hinges need a bit of uh, tightening. So imagine this, pretty easy if you just go in there. We shall look at that in the future. But I've never seen one of these before, so I thought that would be of interest for future review or something like that. Now, a bit of science fun over here. Let's bring in other things so we can reach them. Okay, this is for future review. I am not opening it. Build a volcano, which we got from B&M for $5.99. And uh, basically you put all this stuff together, put the grid in the code, it reacts, spurts out everywhere and makes a volcano. To show you the science behind it, as you can see there, like that. And it comes with the, all these little bits. There we go. So I thought, what I'd do with that one, uh, I have a nieces and nephews, and I thought what I'd do is make a video uh, with them using this, where well, they could actually watch them using it live. Or well, I'll use it, and they can watch, and you can see their enjoyment and how they're learning. Or perhaps not, if they don't want to. But that's a suggestion. Maybe will, maybe won't. I don't know. But I thought that would be fun. On the same vein, why have you found this at the market? Uh, a bit larger. This is a video scope set, which is basically a microscope with a screen. And she thought we could do a quick review of it. And then pass it on to the kiddles, who can have fun with it, because uh, one of them is really into a microscope stuff. So. We shall be getting that done in the future. Most of this will be once we've moved, likely. <laughs> now! Now! Something that made a lot of my Facebook followers quite envious. Because I was in the market in Chester Street and uh, we came across this box. I have never ever seen a Vic 20 before in the wild. Outside of eBay, never seen them for sale. Mm. And this one, okay, box is a bit tatty, but I've never seen the box, anything with the box before. Uh, outside of eBay again. I've never even seen a Vic 20 outside of eBay. This one, the computer is in there, doesn't have its power adapter, but we've got a power adapter anyway. And I said to her, how much? Boink, 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 boink. Five English pounds. Yes, five English pounds for a boxed. Okay, the box isn't perfect, but it's the box. A boxed Commodore Vic 20. And it does work. We've had it tested. It runs perfectly. Uh, it's got a few little scars on it here and there. But it works, perfect condition, and generally it is uh, in very good cosmetic condition. It's a tiny bit of retro about, but it's not too bad. 
it's not too bad at all. So, let's just have fun putting this back on. And then, we can get on. Ow. It's always good to have a spare Vic, isn't it? To the big one. Which means I'm going to have to move the camera around. Oh, the hardships. I'll be right back. Minions! Minions! No, the minions are not being rude. Uh, they're just trying to hide this thing from you for the moment because through the point of making this video, three and uh, three years, three months ago, I put up a video asking anybody if they could find an IBM 50, 5150, which is, as you know, the 1981 PC, the first PC, uh, first recognised modern PC. And uh, yes, and with <laughs> thanks from Ash, who's helped greatly with this, I finally got one. Yes! This uh, has original keyboard, original base obviously, it is the 256k version, and the monitor, it's the PC Junior monitor, but this does have the CGA card in it, so it can do colour graphics. Glass! After three years, we finally got this one. Uh, the problem has been, they're either out on the price range, or in the price range, but severely broken. Uh, this one was in price range and working and in good condition. Uh, when we got it, the feet off the back of the keyboard were snapped, but I managed to get an XT keyboard and put the feet in from that. They don't fit exactly the same, but they're good enough and they do the job, as long as you don't move it too much. <laughs> uh, the B drive, when we find something, B drive is not responding, but after Several investigations, we found out that the jumpers weren't set right and there was an issue with the data cable. So once that was done, fires up perfectly. So let's do that, shall we? So let's put the box on and the monitor. And off we go. The monitor was a bit shaky at first because obviously I hadn't been used in quite a long time. We had to get put it to maximum brightness to see anything, but uh, now it's in here, up to temperature, and settled down, it's all working fine. And as it goes, booting into DOS. Obviously this thing has no uh, internal hard drive, so it boots everything off floppy, which is what it's doing now, I'm just making sure the screen's working okay. Yeah, it's working fine. This doesn't come as part of it, this is not a tape drive for the 1551, sorry, 5150. Although you can put a tape drive on it, and that's something I intend to do for a future video. Asking for the date and time. Okay, that's done. So let's uh, get some. Uh, let's get a game up so you can see it running. And Robotron. Not going to show you too much of this for now. Yes, I have a cool monitor because obviously we're doing a separate review for it. We are looking for an original monitor for it. There you go, it is running. A quick game of it for you. Although the controls on this are impossible. So I'm going to start very quickly, I suspect. Right, W, A, E, A, X. There we go. To show you how quickly it is possible to die. I can't believe I even got past the first level there. Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah, it would take a lot of practice to get anywhere with this game, and I don't have the time at the moment, so. So I'm going to zoom in there for you. There we go. But for those who are curious, uh, this cost £110 and I had to drive uh, 270 miles total to retrieve it. 
in an evening. So, I'd like to thank Ash very much for uh, helping make this, uh, helping to get this. And also, <clears throat> you'll notice my editing is not the same. That's because I am using Windows uh, Movie Maker because my laptop died. Yes, and I uh, can't afford another one. So I'm going to use my wife's now and again when I need to get one. Uh, we managed to recover my hard drive, so some of my graphics have survived. Well, all my graphics have survived, but I uh, don't have a video editor on that laptop to do it because... Vegas editing takes a while, and I don't want to take up all my wife's laptop time. Uh, I'd like to thank Ian Griffiths for sending me a uh, USB to SATA adapter to recover my hard drive, which is very nice. Uh, we do have a uh, my sister-in-law is giving us a Vista laptop, which has got broken hinges, but that will do the job until we can get another one. So thank you very much, sister-in-law, and uh, there'll be another parcel package video coming on the keels of this one because uh, as I sit here uh, videoing this one we're waiting for another one to arrive so uh, that should be the last one for now uh, I gotta move all this to the new lab hey joy 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 so anyway uh, you won't be getting the usual outro here because the outro requires green screening which Windows Media Play Media Movie Maker does not have so thank you very bloody much and drink more tea mm.